enter another messenger with a letter. We serve at their pleasure. moment it goes in most wet at the rim tide that drags to death I am the pink child peeking out from inside the arch solid as they may appear however a verbal iconography a deep blankness surrounds us or while the zones singular at which the void out of that weight groans it bristles with entry points wounds its apogees seized from any tangent and joy to touch each to run hands and eyes along again however to get inside is everything but that interiority is foobar choked off wrestling to be there we must turn flip bring four to aft or in must out though it itself not an act consciousness only frames but what bristle may mean we brush or graze it the falling the bruise aka ecstasy kindling gorgeous prologue of grove pillars and fluttering nightingale the covered well on the hill but who turns who looks under the hill everything pertaining to what's happening has yet to surface the nostalgia delic necrophilic philoc trophilic mushrooms Chonga, 
This six-man privy was located on a knoll 50 feet west. From the direction of the knoll came a fuselage of sharp rapping sounds like two boards clapped together. Framed screens on hinges covered each individual hole in the facility, yet an occasional scorpion had been found on the underside of the boards. It had become, therefore, the custom to give a few sharp raps with the screen lib before assuming the position. Regarding the Khan's airborne nature, those of us who studied physics in high school will remember the principle of Pirnoli's theorem, which states that when a gas is in motion, pressure falls as flow speed increases. That's what the camber in a wing's critical angle of attack plays on. It's why, in a Khan, we front load the frustration and the flow, in this case of latrine grams, is sped by self-anger. Self-anger's force is the great determinant. But what do we mean by self-anger, or what's anger, or even self for that matter? But look at these words as a neologism, self-anger. If we are able mentally to uncouple its semantic parts, self and anger, or sound them, we feel another, we feel another hidden sense, self-anger. Self-anger is that which in fangs puts teeth to the cell and simultaneously bites itself. Truth is, open or shut, neither will do. Dilly gaff. The reason this garden's here for us to enjoy is we murder those who interfere. End transmission.